Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a vlog. So, uh, been ages since I've done one of these and I thought I'd just throw one out because uh, there's been some changes uh, at the moment. Well, not changes, but things have been a bit different on the channel because um, for a start, we haven't had hotfix. We didn't have hotfix last week. We're not going to have it this week and it also means we don't have podcasts. Now, this is because uh, Kiri is away on holiday, so I can't really help that. Uh, a man needs his holiday, so there you go. What I was going to do though was actually get... Um, guests on to the show uh but it's difficult enough to get one guest every week like i i know a lot of people on youtube okay but it's difficult for me to like like imagine this right i can't ask people if they want to come on a show but ask loads of other people and then suddenly tell them no i don't want you coming on my show because i've asked somebody else and they're coming on it instead now that's going to piss people off and i don't like doing that so generally i only ask like a couple of people i'll ask somebody if they tell me no then i'll ask somebody else and i'll ask somebody else a lot of the time people might say yeah and then they can't make it it's not because they're messing me around it's just because uh well they run youtube channels and i know what it's like things crop up out of nowhere so you have to be uh reactionary i think so yeah there's been no hotfix uh this week and there was none last week uh but it'll be back next week when kiri's back because uh obviously the bread and butter of the show is me and kiri talking about whatever the hell has happened in the gaming world uh the last week or so since the last hot fix um yeah so i i apologize for that guys i'm sorry uh but i've i've actually attempted to do hot fix on my own in the past uh and it's not for worked very well at all in fact you can search the channel uh this was some time ago though probably over a year ago uh it's not very good. I did think about doing like a mini hotfix thing, um, sort of like just me blasting off what the big topics are and giving a quick opinion, but I don't know. I think that would just be a bit shit because that's not what a hotfix is. Uh, so I want to apologize to everybody who waits for hotfix and everybody who supports hotfix on the patron thing, which actually links me into another thing, uh, patron. Now, patron is a thing which keeps Unit Lost alive. Uh, and I want to say thank you to everyone who supports us on Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash unit lost if you just like everything from unit lost. Or if you only watch Hotfix, because I know we've got a lot of people who only watch Hotfix, you can go to patreon.com slash hotfix and uh, just support Hotfix from there, which again, like I say, without that support, uh, we wouldn't be where we are today, which is beautiful. Uh, yeah, so what the hell has been going on? Well, like, do you want to hear about my life first, ladies and gentlemen? I'm sure that'll be exciting. So, uh, a lot of people know I've got Crohn's disease, okay, which is like a, a problem with the digestive system, which uh, it means that you need to run to the toilet quite a lot. Um, but that's like one hilarious sort of uh, symptom of it. The worst part of it is it can make you feel really tired and you can get really bad, like you can eat food and it just goes through and you, you get really blah, 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 and it's, it's, it's dodgy. But I've been on medication for almost 12 months now which is working extremely well you can hopefully you can tell uh from the camera that i don't look wasted i look okay i look normal um which is great because this means that i've been able to get myself active again which is fucking great because i i've always been active uh, it seems weird to me because since i started unit lost i when unit lost first started i mean unit lost getting on for like three and a half years now four years old maybe i think it's about three and a half years old um i wasn't very well and for a lot of the time Unit loss has been active. I've not been very well. It's just the nature of the problem I've got, really, is it takes a lot of time to work out um, like uh, a medication plan. It isn't as simple as like, oh, you've, you've got, you know, a cough or whatever, have some antibiotics, there you go. It's like, no, it, there's a lot of like, everybody's a different case. It's very like a personal thing. Um, so it's loads of trial and error. And it, this, of course, takes loads of time to sort out. But I am sorted now, which is fucking great. But it means that I can get really active. And what I was saying is, well, my point was, um, before Unit Lost, uh, a couple of years before Unit Lost, actually, before I was, really before I was like diagnosed with Crohn's, I guess, which, you know what, it's coming up to like a 10-year anniversary next year, which is pretty mad. I was very active. I was very... Um, sporty i suppose i played a lot of football and you know i kept myself active but this last couple of weeks the camera just zoom i hate this camera why does it always oh why i always turn it off but it never saves the setting for auto focus Ugh. but yeah i've been getting active and i got a bike and if you um watched uh well a mountain bike because some of you probably already know that i've got a road bike which i did take out but again like i i think i was kind of pushing myself a bit too far at that time um but Anyway, now I'm much better, and I've been taking this mountain bike out, and in 15 days, I've done 71 miles on it, which is a bit ridiculous. Um, that's more than five miles a day, and it's mountain bike riding. It's not like just riding, you know, on a flat surface. It's 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 going up a 
not a mountain, obviously, going up like a hill, you know, so it's pretty hard to do. Um, but I, it's made me feel so much better. It's been awesome. I mean, the last two days, it's pissed me off because I haven't been able to go out because uh, it's been too hot because usually I take Sky. Now, there's a video on the channel that I put out because I got a GoPro because I thought, you know what? This would be really fun to film because uh, she just loves it. I mean, if you watch the video, it's, it's like pure excitement, like just pure joy. And you can't help but smile when you watch it. It just, it loves it. And I don't know how such a small dog keeps running like it does. It is ridiculous. I mean, I, I'm going pretty fast on the bike and she's running with me. Then she'll just overtake me and then she'll run off into the side and run back. And it's crazy. It, but it's good. It's good fun though. And I think like uh, that does, it kind of does make you get out, you know? Like I do want to get fit. I do want to get healthy again. Um, and... Yeah, like I said, my medication's working fine, and I feel fine, and this means I can kind of take it to the next step. Because for some time, um, well, for years, I guess now, uh, I'd, I'd be okay, and I'd try to get myself fit again, but then I'd, like, collapse down really quick, and I'd be really ill, and I'd lose it again, and I'd be on steroids and all kinds of shit, which would really wreck my body, and it's, like, fucking hell. So I'm trying to take better care of myself, um, but like I said, I've got good medication which is working for me now, and long may it continue, but that's enough of my sob story. So where the hell are we with Unit Lost at the moment? Well, 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 we are pretty, uh, I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, we actually had quite a good video um, the other week, the Batman PC port video, which has done quite well. Um, I think it's over 30, in fact, I'll check, I think it's like over 30,000 views, which is pretty damn good, um, especially for us anyway. Yeah, it's almost 40,000 views, which is ridiculous, as of the recording of this video, of course. Um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know, like, I'm looking for the channel, and I think we're doing okay at the moment. Like, I've put some odd things out, I guess, like the, the Sky video or McGee video, um, but I think that was, you know, that's okay. I guess you guys don't mind that. I, I was I was umming and ahhing because the, the whole reason I had the camera is because I wanted to film Sky, but it wasn't really for the YouTube channel. It was just because I wanted to show uh, my sister, who's Sky's owner, like what we get up to in the day sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I put it on the channel and I was quite surprised by the, uh, the reception I had because that's done quite well. Um, oh yeah, Armored Warfare. I've been kind of addicted to this. Um, it's weird, this is, because I know the videos don't do very well, but because I'm playing it, I want to make videos on it. And I also know that it's in closed uh, alpha. I think it's alpha at the moment. Um, so not that many people have got access to it. Although I did give away a shitload of keys to the uh, game on one of my streams the other week. Courtesy of Mr. Sidestray, thank you, sir. Um, but yeah, like I'm enjoying that game. So I guess like one of the, uh, the principles I'm kind of running by is, and I always have run by, to be honest, is, although sometimes in the past maybe deviate from this, but learn our lesson, is always make videos on games that you enjoy. And I'm enjoying that, so I'm making videos on it, and that's just what's happening. Um, I made a video on the Fallout mobile game, which was interesting, which actually has done pretty good, um, I reckon. And I think now, because I've got a, oh yeah, I've got an Elgato HD capture thing, which might be able to capture the sound from the iPad, I think. Yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, that video did okay, and it was, it's been ages since I've done any kind of iPad recording or anything like that, because I'll be honest with you, I don't play games on my iPad. Um, there's some funny games, on, well, if you can even call them games, that I wanted to do with Kiri. One of them is, uh, well, I've dropped a bit of a spoiler, it was Storage Wars um, UK. It, it just looks fucking stupid, and I'm sure we could make a funny video out of that, so maybe we'll do that. But, I mean, as for like recording that and trying to work out how to do that, yeah, we'll... We'll have to see. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I also made a video on the Elgato HD60 itself, telling people how to sort out the um, delay, because there's like inbuilt delay in that because it transfers the image over USB. So there's always going to be delay, which again, is not something typically I do and it hasn't done very well, I guess, for you wise, but I don't care. I made that because I know pe that will help people. And again, like I said, I don't give a shit. I was trying to help people. I tried to find videos on this and there were videos and it's like a 10 minute long video of some guy blabbing about something which can be basically explained in like three or four minutes it's just madness so that annoyed me um we, we did a ton of videos recently as well on um well i guess like they, they were i guess there were e3 videos i suppose you could call them um where we just sort of instead of like e3 is a big thing for the gaming industry it's massive whatever people say about e3 if they don't like e3 or you know uh i don't know it's stupid it's just a press thing or whatever it's really a big thing especially on youtube and uh other places so yeah we decided to cover it in a way which was kind of like we'll take a game 
and we'll tell you everything about the game based off trailers and stuff and sort of break it down and and do our best like to explain what's going on and uh there's a couple of videos that we've done which you know have done pretty well so we've got videos like um the doom video i did we've got the fallout 4 uh video kiri did where he kind of admits that he is getting a bit more well he's kind of getting a hype for the game after not really giving a shit we've got kiri's for honor video which did great again which that does look like an interesting game but it's ubisoft so we've got to be careful uh i broke down battlefront and had a fight with ea because they wouldn't allow the video and then eventually they did um <laughs> Yeah, so it's pretty good. And then, of course, like we go forward to the uh, Batman fiasco, which is, you know, that's annoying. Like, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I'm happy that the video did well, but I'm also pissed the game was shit because I was really looking forward to that, which I guess this ties me into the live streaming thing. So uh, I've been doing quite a bit of live streaming, not recently this week because the heat's been too much, because you, you can see the um, the shack which I'm in at the moment. Is it called the, the, the stream shack, the shack of dreams or whatever you want to call it? Uh, it's a recording box like well i guess it's a recording studio it's a really fancy shed but it's been built with um soundproofing um and it's got pretty good audio qualities and everything it's like ideal it's like a dream come true really um but the problem with it is is when it's really like it's really good for temperature like i'm sitting in here now and it's not very hot outside the computer hasn't been on for very long I, i've got one of the lights on uh the studio lights and uh everything's kind of okay but after a while it's going to get really hot and the reason is that yeah, because the computer is pumping out the heat and it's got nowhere to go because if i have vents in the wall it's going to compromise the sound quality in here now you might be thinking well start it's a bit crazy like surely just putting a vent in the wall isn't going to make that much of a difference it will because of where this is um there are people quite close by and I don't want them to hear what I'm doing because they will get annoyed and it doesn't take long because I've been down this path before for people to get massively annoyed and then they effectively stop you from, you know, doing what you're doing. And because what I do is very loud, then, yeah, you know, it gets pretty bad. So, yeah, there's no ventilation, which I did look for some mental stuff. Like, I looked for air conditioning units, which... Uh, it's a bit ridiculous. It's a bit expensive. You know what? I'm this fucking webcam. I hate this webcam. Why is it zooming in? What the fuck? Configure. Autofocus. No. Well, I say zoom. You know, also as well, I shall turn the uh, light on, actually. Probably, yeah, half, halfway through the video, I turned the light on. I realized I haven't got it on. It's fine, though. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it's okay, this place is, but it gets really hot, and it would stop me from recording, which is only... Like, if, it, if whatever temperature is outside, it's cooler in here, but when the computers are on, the heat starts to rise, and it can be pretty bad. Like, that setup behind me, that's the um, the Warhammer 40k stream setup. I know it looks a bit ghetto underneath, that's because I've been moving boxes and stuff, but um, that is that really does get hot. That computer is not too good for it. Uh, like, it, it seems to run quite hot. I think it's because it's the old... Um, I think that's got a first generation i7 in it so that's why it runs pretty hot uh, but things like the camera you can see up there that gets really hot when uh, it's on like in front of my face pointing down you can see some yellow dots on there that's me messing around with my uh, imperial fists i've kind of got i guess i've got one here i can show you one of the sarges that i've been uh well, it's totally not going to focus working on i've always wanted to uh mess around with imperial fists so that's what i've kind of been doing like in my downtime i guess but yeah heat has been a problem so it would stop me streaming and stuff so i don't know i mean it's probably going to be a problem for a couple more weeks i guess as we go through the summer but like the uk is not a hot country so after a couple of days it'll be fine so i think it can be tempting for me to sort of go extreme and be like shit let's get some air conditioning put in or do something extreme only for like a week's benefit so yeah i i don't know it's just annoying when i can't do my job you know it, like really pisses me off because if i don't do my job i ain't gonna get paid am i so it's like fuck madness but yeah the live stream um i've actually changed the live stream up quite a bit um it's got like a new overlay which i guess i could probably show you actually uh yeah hang on you can kind of see that in fact i think i've got a white yeah, there you go. So if you look down the bottom left, you can see like how the live stream overlay has changed a little bit. Uh, it just looks a little bit more, um, well, I guess uh, seamless, I suppose. Um, obviously, my webcam will be on there as well and uh, and whatever. But yeah, I, I mean, like I enjoy live streaming. I really do. Um, I know a lot of people. Well, I say a lot of people, but I've seen comments on the forums and from people on YouTube uh, leaving comments on the videos. Don't necessarily like the live stream, but you have to understand that it's part of unit lost and it, it it's something which really can't go away it's part of unit lost to the extent of um 
well, I guess financially as well, it, it's really good for unit lost. I can get that some people don't enjoy it maybe, but it's just the nature of the um, kind of channel that unit lost is on YouTube. It can't sustain itself just off YouTube alone, so we have to do all this other stuff on the side. I like streaming anyway. I, I You know what? From like a creator's perspective, um, it's really good not to have all your eggs in one basket. So just doing stuff on Google platforms is slightly dodgy because what happens if Google just decide one day to shut the YouTube channel down? At least there is an avenue there on, you know, I guess it's on Amazon uh, now, but through Twitch, where there is somewhere else I can go. But I really enjoy it, though. Um, I think um, there's been some good streams recently as well. I think the quality of the stream is pretty good as well. Uh, the fact I can stream whenever I like is pretty good as well. Uh, and we've been pretty regular, um, starting streams at 6 p.m. Um, BST or yeah, GMT plus one. Um, there's been a lot of Warhammer streams, I guess. They've kind of tailed off a little bit. And I think that's basically down to the heat because that setup over there is much, much... Um, much more uncomfortable to work with, even when it's fairly mild outside. Um, mo I mean, model-wise, you can kind of see them, well, over there, you can see the models behind me. Uh, there's quite a lot that have, uh, have been painted up. There's still more which needs to be done. Those streams are not going anywhere. Uh, I said I did want to move them to the weekend, because I think that's when people kind of uh, will be more inclined to, I suppose, um, paint 40k stuff. But that's the age-old problem with me and I suppose streaming as well, is if you don't feel like doing it, then you ain't going to want to do it. So if you say, if I say now, yeah, I'm going to stream Warhammer Saturday at six o'clock, but then I don't really want to do it, you know, I'm forcing myself to do it and that's bad. So I think it, it still needs to stay dynamic. You know, what's being streamed, what's being played um, needs to change. I guess as well, um, the last thing I want to touch on is uh, the channel itself. Like, so I, 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 I did speak about this. I was going to say quickly, this video is like, 15 minutes long or whatever it is by now like 17 minutes long um there has been a bit of a change on what's been coming out on the channel uh and i think it's doing okay i mean if you just purely look at the views and the feedback and the like ratio on videos and the comments it's doing well um off these i don't know what i guess they're kind of like editorial little videos where we sort of take a topic and we speak about it it does mean that a lot of the time me and kiri are not really playing together which kind of this may come as a shock to some people we don't really play games together anyway, and we haven't really done that for a long time. Like, I know Kiri plays, like, Diablo and all kinds of other games, but when we make videos um, for the channel, I, you know, I do a lot of streaming now, and whatever I'm doing, generally he wouldn't be playing it, but I don't think Kiri um, has been playing... Well, no, I think he has been playing games, but, yeah, it's weird. We don't really play games together, so uh, I'm not sure if that's going to change, but you can see on the channel, as a result of that, the way the videos have been made has changed there isn't no like crazy let's play long let's play series um but the channel's been doing better without those you know like we if you want to talk about stats and stuff they have been doing better since we've sort of stopped these um spamming out the let's play stuff because the let's play is um i enjoy doing them but if you don't have something you really want to let's play, it can become a little bit of a drag. Like the last thing we really wanted to do was City Skylines and we did it and then we just stopped abruptly because it was it could not go anywhere. You know, it was just stuck. The game was stuck. The way we built the city couldn't have changed. So that was kind of the end of it. Then we did kind of come back to it a little bit with the Paris thing, which really didn't work because, you know, why? I don't think we really wanted to play it ourselves. We just knew it did well. So we wanted to sort of have a laugh because, I mean, whenever we play a game, we do take the piss and we have a laugh and that's fine. You can tell on the videos as well. I think right now the next Let's Play will be XCOM 2 whenever that comes out. Uh, but before that, I really don't know. You know, I've spoke about it before on the on the stream, I think I spoke about it, and maybe on Twitter. Why would I say let's do some let's play when that time could be spent making videos which I think are better videos, you know? The like when I, I made the XCOM two everything we know about it, Kiri did the um Armored Warfare video talking about um World of Tanks or he did the Steam refunds video. I think we're better at those type of videos and the big strength of Unit Lost is there's two people that can make these videos. It isn't just like one guy. And when I watch Kiri's videos and I guess when he watches mine or I hope so when he watches mine, um, they're very informative videos. You know, you have to make videos that you would watch yourself and I would watch those videos. And, and again, like with the Batman videos and stuff I've made recently and even the Armored Warfare videos, these are videos I would watch, you know, that's why they've been made. Um, would I necessarily watch a massive Let's Play? Probably not. 
you know uh in fact i never have watched a massive let's play so there you go i've watched bits of let's plays but i've never really sat down and gone wow I'm, i really love this let's play i want to make you know i'm gonna i can't wait for it to come back i know a lot of people do enjoy let's plays so i'm not knocking those people i mean hell we've made tons of let's plays if you look at some of the older series like uh, the civ stuff that so much Civ. some of those have gone into like 70 plus episodes XCOM stuff mentally long and stuff like that um but yeah i think that's probably going to be restricted to uh um stuff that we're we're, we're both looking forward to as it's just never gonna happen uh and i would like to get the odd like crazy sort of gameplay thing back i think the last time we did that was sort of gta 5 i think kiri made some videos i don't think they did too well but it would be nice just to kind of get that back like i played um arc survival evolved on the stream uh that would be really funny if me and kiri played it but i know it's not his sort of game so he's not going to play it so it's like mm. but that's just that's just the nature of it i mean unit lost i think it's starting to change now it is becoming more of a do I think it's I think it's kind of maturing? I mean, what do you guys think? It'd be interesting to see. I think we've still got the stupid element there, and I don't think that'll go. But there is a marked change in the way videos are getting made and the subject of the videos, and I guess the style of the videos as well. The live stream, though, if you want stupidness, you should come and watch the live stream, which is twitch.tv forward slash unit lost, and he's live most days at 6 p.m. Uh, BST or GMT plus one. Uh, which is pretty ridiculous. And like I said, um, you can support Unit Loss through Patreon if you really like, really enjoy the stuff we make. I'm not saying go and support us because give me your money. If you enjoy what we do, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Unit Lost or forward slash Hotfix and support us on that because it really does help. Um, yeah, so it's been a vlog. It's been ages since I've done one and it is nice to just kind of just randomly talk because I had no points. I'm just sitting here randomly talking. I've literally come back from taking McGee a walk. She's outside. Well, I say a walk. It's a run, ain't it, on the bike. She's outside. She's probably wanting to come in here, but she, she's hot, so she's not sitting in here because it's quite hot. I've hosed her down and uh, yeah, I thought I'd just make a vlog with no, no structure. I just wanted to talk about unit loss because I know some of you guys do enjoy watching that um, or listening to it, I guess. So yeah, I think I'll leave it at that, guys. Uh, Hotfix will be back next week. Um, well, unless Kiri's not here, but I would imagine it'll be back. Uh, same for podcast as well. And, yeah. Love it. All right, guys. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll catch you next time. Toodaloo.